Thank you, Jesus. Get that sign up in this house. Sign up in this house. If you can sign it, sign it up. Just begin to move your feet just a bit. Just to begin to move your hands just a bit. Give the Lord a wave offering in this house today. Tell the Lord, I thank God I'm alive today. I thank God for the Son. I thank God for the resurrection. I thank God for salvation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, saints, don't get tired of it now. Don't get tired of it now. When you get to heaven, you'll be praising them 24 7. You can't get tired of it now. Don't get tired of it now. Press in on what Holy Ghost wants today. He's here in this house today. Holy Ghost is here. Glory to God. Come on. Praise God. Get some of that. Step on it. Step on that devil's head. Step on that spirit of resistance. Step on it now. Step on that devil. Don't let him come in. Tell him get down. Tell him you have no authority. You have no authority. You're not going to hinder my praise. Devil, you're not going to hinder my worship. Come on, daddy. Come on. I said the devil, tell that devil something. You better tell the devil authority. You better speak to that demonic thing. You better speak to the enemy of your soul and say, the devil, you will not hinder my praise. You will not hinder my worship. You will not make me forget of what all God's got to do. You better push past. But Jesus said, I have powers over all the enemy of darkness. I can step on serpents. I can crush scorpions. I can crush everything. Every demonic assignment. Every demonic scheme. Every attack that the devil has sent to my family. I can step on that devil's head. Is the devil not today? Not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year. I'm taking authority over my family. I'm taking authority over my son. I'm taking authority over my daughter. I'm taking authority over my family. Somebody better tell me something. I know how it is. I know about the trials of life. I know about problems and situations. I know what it feels like to do all you can and nothing seems to change. You're not getting with me now. I say, I know what it feels like to be praying and seeking and reading. I'm praying, I'm seeking, I'm praying, and nothing changes. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I be, can I get an honest witness? I know how it feels. The 120 knew how it felt. I said the 120 knew how it felt. You talking about 120. I'm talking about the 120 disciples in the upper room. That's why right, not seven, not twelve, not forty, not seventy, but 120. A hundred and twenty people crammed up in a room. Forty-nine days. Wait, come on, come on. Waiting on the Lord. Because the Lord gave him a promise. Jesus said it before he left. Because that's the way he is. He will never forsake us. And 
like whatever he says. You can take it to the bank. If he says, I'll come back, I'll come back. But you got to wait in the room, cramped up, uncomfortable, everything, but stay and remain. Don't leave the upper room. Remain. Somebody say remain. The Lord says remain in the upper room. Don't go nowhere. Don't leave that place because you're in the right place at the right time, at the right moment. I'm going to give you everything you need in order to accomplish my will. I know what it feels like to be scared. That's why I said scared. Call the overseer, I don't care. I sometimes I get scared. I said I get scared. I guess I don't got no real people in here. Sometimes I get weary. Sometimes I don't understand. Sometimes I'm a little confused. Sometimes I get a little weary. Sometimes I Sometimes I get a little frustrated. I said sometimes I get a little frustrated. I get frustrated. Sometimes I get frustrated with God. Call the overseer. I don't care. But I want to be real. I want to be real. Sometimes I get frustrated with the movement of God and the timing of God. I'm frustrated with God because I want to move when I want to move. But he says, wait and remain. Wait and remain. Sometimes I get frustrated with God and with people. in the upper room waiting for the one that was going to help them through. Come on everybody, don't get back on me now. I said 120 disciples in the upper room remaining, waiting, waiting on the Lord, waiting on the comforter, waiting on the one thing that they would need in order to do the thing for God wanted them to do. I want to show you something that the Holy Spirit showed me about these 120. These 120. Now I want to talk to you on the subject. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of what's on the other side of the door. Don't be afraid. Let that sit on you for a minute. Take a look at the picture. Let that get down in you. Don't be afraid of what's on the other side. I got some of y'all looking at me. Some of y'all still ain't with it now. You still ain't catching it now. Don't be afraid. Look at that person next to me. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Watch this. Look at me now, everybody. Tell them, say, don't be afraid of what's out there. Don't be afraid of what's out there. Don't be afraid of what's outside the sanctuary. Don't be afraid that's what's in the highways and the byways. Don't be afraid of what's in everything. Don't be afraid of what's out there. You can't be afraid of what I'm saying. You can't be afraid of what's out there. Talk about 120. 120 disciples. They were lambs. But they were fearful lambs. I said, I want to talk to you about 120 disciples. But they were fearful. They were fearful. They had a spirit of fear upon them. The lambs were afraid. Afraid of what, Pastor? Of what was behind the door? 120 fearful lambs. 
afraid yeah. of what was on the other side yeah. of that door. Can we talk? Can I preach? We're going to preach this same. Give me Acts chapter 2 verse 1. Come on, remain standing in here. You ain't going to have time to sin. Well, when the fire of the Holy Ghost falls in this place. Yeah. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, yeah. they were all of one accord yeah. in one place. Yeah. When the day of Pentecost came, was fully come 